and back. Sorry, I ran out of time on my phone. Here we go, part two. So you can strain it out or you can drink it. And if you strain it out, I would highly recommend that you put the little pieces of SCOBY in your compost because they're awesome. Look at the bubbles. You can see the bubbles in there. I want to cover this up for now. Anyway, and also you will cover up your SCOBY as you're um, having it wait while you make the next batch. So all you need to make kombucha, really, the basic, basic recipe. Sorry, two hands and one phone. Is beautiful organic black tea. This, if you can see through it, is from Frontier. It's um, organic fair trade Assam black tea. And uh, all you need for a gallon of SCOBY of uh, kombucha, sorry, is one tablespoon of that tea. And this is a really nice big, you can see I've used it a lot from all the staining, but this is a really nice big tea strainer that I did get from Frontier at one time. I don't know if they still sell them, but you can probably find something like this elsewhere on Amazon. It's, it's nice. It opens up easily. You put your heaping teaspoon of, of uh, tea in there, and that's all you need. So what you do is you take three quarts of filtered water and uh, it has to be filtered because you might kill the good bacteria in, in the SCOBY if you use regular tap water. So take three quarts of filtered water and bring it to a boil. As soon as it's at a boil you uh, add this tea ball with your tablespoon of great organic black tea and you let it sit in there for say 15 to 20 minutes. Get nice and strong. Then you take it out and you add one cup of organic 100% pure sugar. I get mine from Costco because it's a great price but if you have a good source you want to use honey or some other kind of sugar, you can certainly try that. But I always have good luck with this sugar, so that's what I use. Uh, then you just stir that sugar in. I always use plastic um, when I'm or rubber when I'm working with the anything that is alive. I'm not so much putting a lot of metal into it, but um, a little it won't hurt it, but I always use this big plastic spoon instead of a metal one. You stir that sugar in until it's totally dissolved, and then you pour it back into here. This is a one gallon um, container. You can use any gallon size container. Uh, you pour it back in here.